Okay, we have Josephine in, who's looking a little bit reticent, but this is about handling on your own. So I wouldn't be able to do her toenails and hold her. But now she's contained. And, hello. Ideally happy to eat some food. In you go. In you go. What I can do is come down now. Good girl. Good girl. And I can hopefully when she stands still, now I do need to be careful with these bars, the crossbars, and her moving around. But the idea is eventually when she gets used to this idea of being contained, I can scratch the ground close to her foot. I can get closer and as she stood still I can turn my shears parallel to the floor. Good girl. Wait till she stood again. Get her used to me being here. I can touch her toes and then I can turn my foot shears parallel and very carefully just nip a little bit off close to the foot keeping parallel so skitty to start with understands i'm not going to grab her i'm not going to restrain her i'm not going to pick her feet up all i've done is scratch the ground close to her toes kept the shears very parallel to the floor and then nipped off a little bit without having to do any other anything more obnoxious to her I can also, while she's in here, I could reach over and give her an injection. I can do her body score. She's going to give me a good look at her teeth because she's the poorly soul that was bitten by a dog. And then when we're ready to let her go, all I need to do is ideally move the bucket, which she's managed to push under the gate. Oh, I'm getting jammed with the mat as well. Well, the idea is that then I just open the gate and off she goes without oh, any fuss at all. There we go. Oh, no, she's going to eat now. Just step over it. There we go. Wanders back out, round into the rest of the group and then I can open the gate this end and let the next one in Coco's doing the food she's happy to walk in step up, up onto the mat now Josephine come, wants to come in this side so that's how bad it was she hasn't run away she's still interested I know mostly in the food but that's one way of dealing with difficult animals on your own. I hope that helps.